So the other day I was setting up live reload for use with the Blind Text 2 and Google Chrome. Had a little difficulty with it, so I just want to show a quick and easy way to set those up. So what you're going to do is first install Live Reload and Sublime Text 2. Make sure you remember which folder you're designating to um, be set up with Live Reload. So after you've set those up, load up your Sublime Text 2. And then go up here to View, Show Console. And all you're going to do is put text in the bottom here. And what I've done is I've put a link at the bottom of this video with that text file. And that's just going to install package control. So open that file after you've downloaded it. Copy the text into the bottom here of Sublime Text 2. And then you just hit enter. And then you just have to restart the blind text to finish the installation as it says here. So close that down. Put the blind text 2 back up. Close this out now. And then you're going to go up here to preferences, package control. And what you're going to want to do is Type install package, so that way we can install uh, live reload. So just hit enter here, and then type in live reload, and then hit enter again. And now you'll see at the bottom here it says package live reload successfully installed. You can close this out and just restart Splint X2. So now let's make sure that everything's working appropriately. So create a new file. Let's create a new basic HTML file. And then make sure you save it in the folder you've designated for live reload. So mine is this learn web development folder. Index to HTML and then save. And then I'm just gonna close out real fast. I find sometimes it's glitchy. So I'm gonna open up that HTML file I just created. Google Chrome. And then one thing you want to do is first right click on here, go to manage, and make sure this checkbox at the bottom is set. To allow access to file URLs. After that, we want to enable live or load. Oh, sorry, I use the blind text to appear first. Enable live reload. Okay, so you see here at the bottom it says, well, it did say that live reload was connected. So now anything that we type in here should automatically show up in our new HTML file. So let's say test. And then hit Control S to save. And as you save, you can see it showed up instantly in Google Chrome there. So let's do another one. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comment box. But uh, it's a pretty simple way to set up the one tech to with live reload. Thanks.